guys. So this is a split up haul. I was going to do one haul, but honestly, I think it would be like half an hour long and be ridiculous. And that's not even me kind of describing things because, um, you know, I haven't made a video in a while and then things were just piling up, piling up, piling up. So I've split it into two. Um, and this one is more sort of makeup hair. And then uh, I'll do another one that's skin after this. So. And then I don't know when I'm going to upload it, if I'm going to do it consecutive or just sort of split it up. Just to make it, you know, a little bit more interesting for you guys. Um, la 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 la. Okay, so, hair. Um, okay, did I get everything? This, if I could show you, this whole counter is just covered in stuff. So, I did do quite a few dry shampoos. Um, one, two, three, four... Five. Now I got three of them really recently and um, and then two of them I got a while ago and I don't think I ever put it in a haul. I think I just forgot about them because they suck. They suck ass really big time. So I'll show you those two. These are things not to get. Dove Refresh and Care Invigorating Dry Shampoo. Now, I read about this somewhere, I think, you know, those little Olsen sister girls, um, who, uh, I actually like some of their clothing, actually, it's really quite beautiful, but anyways, their hair person is the creative director of Dove, and he revamped the whole line, the way that it looks, the packaging, yada, 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 and, um, I heard that this is one of sort of the best dry shampoos you can get and it's drugstore and we all love a deal. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get that. Um, I tried it. It stinks. I don't like it. Um, I felt that it, it smells nice. It smells really kind of fresh and fruity. Um, but it didn't work for me. I found my hair even just greasier feeling. I, I don't know what it was. Some, some ladies do love it. Um, I have talked to a few people and they say, oh, really? I love that dub. It's so fantastic. I think it's only like six or seven bucks. Um, but yeah, not for me. That was a big old gong show right there. Uh, the next one is a Mark Anthony second day clear dry shampoo because, um, you know, being dark haired, I don't know why they don't do dark tones. Uh, the best dark tone one is the T3 that um, I got a few years ago and I freaking loved it. Well, I didn't know that they discontinued this sucker because I cannot find it anywhere. So, um, if any of you guys know, please tell me because I have searched and searched and searched and searched months at a time. Like, well, not, not months at a time. I'd search and then a couple months later I'd try again just in case maybe they were sold out, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I can never find it. That's the best one, obviously. So, to me, obviously to me, not obvious to every, oh my God, Lord. Okay. So, um, I thought a clear one would be the second best choice because rather than having it all white and stuff, clear. Okay. This sucks too. It does nothing. It's clear and you can't see it or go, you can't see any difference. <laughs> it's basically how it felt to me where I was just spraying things and it didn't leave my hair fresher or drier or non oilier. It really stinks. So whatever. So the other three that I got, I got a replenishment of the original, uh, Bat Batiste that I love a lemony thing. I'm just into the lemony sort of thing. That's why I love the Oscar Blandy. It's lemony. It's fantastic. So this, you know, I quite like. Um, I would say the chlorine is also really great. Uh, but I wanted to try this Batiste stuff because I was looking for another dark tone. So, um, I got, lo and behold, there was one in black. Black. So I was like, yeah, okay, let me try this sucker out. Right. So I put it in. It's great. So it's not white, it's not clear, but it's totally gray. So now you've got like gray streaks in your hair. So I don't know what the heck is going on with that. So this did not really work for me and it has a really perfumey smell. Very, very perfumed. The other one is very lemony fresh. This one's really kind of perfumed. So then, okay, another going show there. Um, and then I ordered a dark and deep brown. I have yet to try this because I was so sort of, you know, upset about all these dry shampoos. I was like, you know what? I need a break or else I'm just going to start raging. So <laughs> I have yet to tell you about this. I'm sure you guys can let me know if this was good for you and then I can be excited and maybe like rip this open and try it one day. So I don't know. 
Anyway, so there's that. Uh, the next thing for hair is, um, as you guys know, when I pull it back in a ponytail, whoops, I'm just covered with product, so I'm just like knocking things. Just doing that, I'm knocking things. So anyways, um, right. So I've had some comments about, oh, you know, your hair looks better layered, or you look younger, or, or this, and cut it, and all that sort of stuff. And I get it, people. You know, I mean, if you look uh, at my videos throughout the course of three years, you know, I've had layered hair, I've had bob, I've had like the whole thing. Because as you guys know, it grows like weed, so I chop it every couple of years or so I just chop it I go from like here to like here and then it just grows 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 so um, the only person that I know whose hair grows probably maybe even a little bit faster at least just as fast as mine is uh, mr. dizzy bubbles mm, I love you I miss you hopefully you'll come back um, you guys all know what I'm talking about if you do um, anyways uh, so her hair grows like weeds too so that's why I just chop it because it's just gonna grow it'll grow in like six months it'll be back down to here so Anyways, the reason why I have it at this length is because getting up at 5.45 in the morning um, all the time, regularly, I'm going to have a little bit of a break right now, but regularly, that's sort of my schedule. I cannot fuss around with my hair, and I need to have it this length, almost sort of, you know, super long layers, not the short bangs and stuff that I had before. It's because I need, oh, I'm going to knock more stuff off. I need to just pull it back into a ponytail. And have nothing more to do with it like I don't need to like psh, or tease or anything I just need to pull it all back and all the strands go there and if it's too short you get little like bing at the end of your pony that doesn't look good so that's why it is the length it's really for low maintenance reasons and as soon as my schedule changes then I can do other things with it but uh, anyways the reason why I got these two is for those days when I slick it back I do have little baby fine hairs here like okay like here um, is that broken? Could be. I'd much rather like to think that those are new baby hairs that are growing in, so I'll just leave it at that. Um, and so what I basically do is I pull it all the way back into a ponytail, I have these little babies, and then I just literally do that, ch -ch -ch, like three times, and that's it. So these Win uh, Texture Bombs, I, I actually don't see many texture bonds. I wanted to try different brands, and I think there was like one Bedhead one or something that I wasn't that crazy about when I saw it. But they don't really kind of make them into these little stick bombs, and that's sort of what I dig. Because I don't want product all throughout my hair. I just want it on those little flyaway bits. So this is the Sweet Almond Mint that I've used for quite a few, well, two years or something. Um, I'm not a fan of almond smelling things, but I thought that was the only one that they had. But lo and behold, they have Cucumber Aloe. So I have yet to open this because I'm still going through the other one. Um, and that's, I think, will probably be a little bit better because I like cucumber melon smells. Well... I think I do anyways, I haven't smelled that yet. Right, okay, the next thing is um, hair-wise. Right, so I am, um, you know, now that my schedule isn't as cuckoo crazy with the 545, um, I'm spending a little bit more time, I'm doing a bit of like, you know, a wave here and there, yada, yada, yada. So I wound up buying a new curling iron because I had this curling iron uh, that was like a drugstore thing for like 10 years or whatever. But it was just the regular iron, it didn't have the tourmaline and the ceramic and all that sort of stuff that's supposed to protect your hair and make it like shinier and smoother. Um, so I have to be honest, I don't do a lot with my hair. I don't put products in my hair. I kind of air dry it half the times. Other times I blow dry, but I'll blow dry it on like cold um, to try and protect it as much as I can. So um, when I've gotten comments of, you know, what do you do to your hair? Why does it look like that? Um, it looks like that because I don't do anything with it. I don't have product buildup because I don't really use it. If I do do anything, I'll just run a little bit of oil through it. Um, and that's really about it. So I was uh, shopping for a new curling iron because um, even though I love my conical, I just found that the waves on it sometimes are a little bit too spirally because of, of the cone shape. You know, it kind of went narrower. Oh, here, there you go. <laughs> so I got like a big ol' iron. This is really inexpensive and it's freaking fantastic. I love it. Um, if I did my hair every day, I probably would have think, thought to invest in one of those like really, you know, super duper and expensive ones. But because I didn't, um, I don't do it. I thought, you know what, let me just get like an average price one, you know, drugstore one, whatever, and I'll see how that is. 
And now that I have this, I would never spend any more than what I spent on this, which was basically less than $40. I think it's like $37 bucks can, uh, Canadian, probably less American. I did see this at a drugstore, but I returned it because it was a one and a quarter barrel, and I didn't know that they actually made a one and a half because they didn't have that at my drugstore. And I looked online in that drugstore, and they didn't carry it at all. So I had to order it from Amazon in the States. So for all you Canadians, well, every province is different. Maybe you have this, but um, the one and a quarter is pink, and then the one and a half is black, like this. And the box looks like this. So it is a Conair Infinity Turbo, no, what the heck? Infinity Pro one and a half nano tourmaline ceramic curling iron, blah, 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 blah. It's fantastic. It's freaking fantastic. That's how I got this. I really wanted loose waves and not the conical sort of tight spiral beachy waves that you really have to pull apart. I literally did this. It took maybe 10 minutes, 12 minutes. And, um, and then it falls a little bit. And then I, I really, I literally just ran my fingers through it once and then just left it. So it takes nothing. Um, and I put it on the third. So here's the on button, here's the plus and minus. It has different heats. I put it on the second to um, hottest. So that is the third up, one, two, three. 360, I have done 330 um, sometimes, you know, I just don't, I just want that little bit of bend. So I'll do it on that. Um, I read a lot of reviews on it first. People were complaining, you know, I accidentally hit the off switch all the time. I hate this bloody thing. And I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. Anyways, it, I've never, I've never turned that off. You really have to press it. And because I just sort of do this, I kind of hold it like this. I mean, it's really, I mean, I guess for some people, they they suck at it, but maybe they re-released it because I think it even said on the box, buttons will not accidentally shut off <laughs> during you. So maybe they heard the complaints. I don't know. So this one is totally fine and I love it. Um, and it's fantastic. And what else can I say? Uh, nothing else but holy Jamolskis. It's fantastic. So now that I'm doing that, rather than using a styling product, I wanted a protectant. I'm all about protecting and just keeping it as healthy as possible. So I was looking for a new heat protectant. I had this chi thing, this red bottle thing. Dang it. I should have brought it in. Anyways, it sucks. I didn't like it. Um, I felt my hair it was really crunchy. It was really sticky. If I would spray it and got any of it on my skin, it would be like like gum, like gummy and sticky, and it just, it didn't feel right. I didn't like using it. So I went out and looked for another one, and um, it was this, the Kevin Murphy Damage Manager. It's specific instant um, heat shielding spray. I wasn't that familiar with the Kevin Murphy line. They were telling me in the salon, oh, it's a luxury line, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, you know what, just give me something that is about as natural with um, the least amount of you know, paraben, this, that, and whatever, and they said, no, this is it. This is that natural line. Um, so I bought it. I think it was 28 bucks. so with the tax, like around $30 or so, and um, I think it does the job, but nobody told me it smelled really heavily perfumed. Um, if I would have smelled it, I probably wouldn't have bought it. It's just a bit too heavy for me. It's just too perfumey for me, but I think it does do the job, so, you know, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll use it up. Some people can't really smell it. I've asked people, oh God, does my hair stink? And they're like, no, it actually is kind of nice. So, I mean, who knows, right? I'm really sensitive to smells. So, anyways. Um, by the way, any of these things, if you want more of a, of a th review, just let me know. Although I'm just talking like a little So anyways, all right. So makeup stuff. Um, one more sort of non-makeup stuff. Um, a replenishment of this solid beauty blender. This is now my um, brush cleanser of choice. I, I love it. I cannot tell you how easy it is. It's a joy to wash my brushes. It's not an onus sort of like, oh God, I have to do this. This is freaking fantastic. Who would have thought just by putting it in this kind of system that it works fantastic, cleans it like you wouldn't believe. Um, okay, so most of these are replenishments. The NARS, Via Apia. Um, I was so shocked how fast I went through one of these. I use these all the time, but I think it's also because it's one of those twist up ones and um, I wish they just did it in a pencil. I think it would last longer. I think I would be able to get it into a point. Um, so there's lots of cons about this, but there's tons of pros, which is it doesn't move at all. 
I don't use it for the waterline. It's just around the eye. I've spoken about it before. It's not for waterlines for me. It doesn't last. So there's that. Another replenishment of the Anastasia Lash Genius. I think I had it in one of my favorites. Love, love, love this stuff. We'll always have that. Um, a replenishment of the Yves Saint Laurent. Um, the Glossy Stain in Camel Croissier. Croissier, I don't know. Number six. Um, so there's that. And uh, another replenishment of... Okay, so one of my favorite foundations is MAC Face and Body. I had a big, you know, that big jug of it. I remember when I was showing that, and I did a review on it, um, somebody was asking, does yours separate? I, I'm hearing it's separating after like a year, and it's all getting all cruddy and gross and, and stuff. And I was like, no, no, it, it hasn't at all. I've had it for about a year, and it hasn't separated at all. Well, okay, it finally did separate. So it took two years, not one year. But one day I was like shaking it, and I poured it, and it was like... And I was like, well, hmm, I'm sure it's fine. Like, it kind of went on fine. I thought I would test it out. It actually did go on fine, but it kind of grossed me out. So I just thought, I don't want to put that on my face. Even though visually it looks fine when I pour it out and it kind of looks all like curled milk or something, like it's separated. I was like, I, I don't want to put that on my face. So I bought another one, but I bought the little baby one. It's 50 mil rather than the big one but it's only about 10 bucks less so it's probably more beneficial to get the big one um because this is just like 10 bucks less and it's like a quarter of the size but i don't like waste wasting products like that big one i could never go through unless that was my only foundation i ever wore if you like if you just want one good foundation buy the full size it's a beautiful foundation it's one of my favorites i freaking love it um, but I just don't like to waste things and throw things away. So I just got the little baby one and I love it. It's so cute. So there's that. Um, a quick dry base coat, Revlon. Somebody told me about that. Um, I'm giving my nails a break by the way, people. So anyways, um, so I don't know about that yet. And, uh, another, uh, replenishment is the Laura Mercier Pressed translucent it's the only thing that I use to just set my under eye concealer I just take a brush and just like the gentlest littlest part I found this is the best thing for me and I love the fact that it's in a compact so you just like swirl a little and there so that's gorgeous um and then the the much talked about hourglass ambient uh lighting powder I got this one in dim and I've already I think done a review on this there's a, there's gonna be separate reviews on some of these things so there's that I won't talk about it too much and then lastly, I think I mentioned beforehand, some replenishments of Real Techniques. So I got this set again. I have a, like four of three, three or four of her sets. And um, I just used, you know, so much cream products um, in the summertime. So I needed another one because this, my favorite is this base shadow brush, this one. It's really kind of fluffy it'll move the cream it won't just you know when it's really dense you kind of get a lot of concentration and then you have to really kind of work it whereas something fluffy you can really work it easily so I wanted another one of those it's fantastic I mean I love her sets these are under $20 people for like two four five brushes um, and then I saw a singlet that I don't actually own so I'm trying that sucker I'm so glad I did this video because now I can try that sucker out and this is the shading brush I think that was like five bucks, six bucks. You can't go wrong. She just really comes out with amazing, amazing stuff. I can't speak highly enough about her brushes. They really are terrific, great value for money, a staple for me in the summertime, a must have. I just, those are the only synthetic brushes that I would continually buy over and over and over and over. So um, anyways, okay, that's it for haul number one. Sorry about all the blabbering, but I'm on to haul number two.